I'm uh, headed out to the mouth of the river up ahead of me. Got this point that I'm gonna see if I can get some rockfish, but figured since I'm heading that way, might as well toss out my paddle tail and troll it. Uh, see if I can pick up a fish before I get to where I really wanna spend some time casting, but absolutely beautiful morning. The water is glass right now, exactly how you want it. Only got about two hours of fish, but uh, we got about 20 minutes before sunrise and we're gonna see if we can't plug a few. Good morning, guys. It feels good to be back out on the kayak. Today, I'm getting out before work and I'm targeting some stripers. I'm gonna be fishing in the West River today. I just pulled up to my first spot. Um, it's this old bulkhead uh, with some pylons sticking out of the water. I actually already saw a couple fish blow up, so I'm thinking there might be some rockfish in here. I've got a little topwater spook I'm gonna throw because it's early. Uh, perfect top water conditions. The water is glass right now. Uh, those fish should be able to slam that lure as I'm popping it across. We're gonna try here and then go try some docks. I think there's some other rock bulkheads towards the mouth of the river I'm gonna hit. I haven't fished this area in a while, but wanted to get out um, because from the reports that I've heard, the open water bite, yeah, there's fish blowing up right there. The open water bite has been tough. Guys have not been able to find fish that easily. People were saying a lot of the rockfish are close into structure in the rivers, so that's what I'm gonna be trying today. I think it's time to cast this lure in there. As much as I hate using treble hooks, that's what we're gonna use. And uh, you guys can see this, this bulkhead right here. It's like these old pylons, perfect structure for rockfish. There's probably perch hanging on it too, but I'm gonna see if I can't get one to blow up on this. Oh, oh. It got it. Oh, oh. Oh, dude, that was sick. That was sick. It doesn't feel like a bad fish either. I'm gonna kind of back out that way. I don't blow the spot, but yeah, he is, he is decent. I don't know. I'm not keeping any rockfish today. The new slot is a uh, 19 to 31 inch limit, but I'm not interested in keeping any rockfish with the state of the fishery right now. So, gotta keep tension on him and try and get my net out. Man, not a bad guy. Okay, there's the net. Let's see how this fish is. Oh yeah, decent one, decent one. Oh yeah. God, these guys are so fun. He inhaled it. Oh. There we go, guys. First fish of the morning. It is a chunky one, too. Golly. You got that lure pretty deep, so I'm going to get my pliers and see if I can pop it out of him real quick. I'm not sure if the GoPro was recording or not, guys, but just took my second cast, got my second fish. A little smaller you guys can see the sun's coming up right there absolutely gorgeous this is exactly what we love as fishermen views like this catching cool fish absolutely having a blast out here so we're gonna go ahead and get this guy release and uh, see if we can catch some more fish in there off he goes just another quick tip for you guys. If you're gonna get a net, uh, I really recommend these rubber ones. Um, the hooks don't get caught as easily if you get like um, whatever kind of string or whatever they use on other nets. Uh, the hook can go through it. Uh, with these rubber ones, the hook just kind of goes um, through these little holes, pops out really easily, makes your life a whole lot easier. But that being said, we got some more fish to catch and uh, we are right in the hot zone. So with this bait, I'm just kind of walking the dog. Uh, that's the way that a lot of people would describe how to fish this lure. You're just kind of popping it back and forth, letting the lure do a lot of the work. But these rockfish, man, they, they can't resist it. I absolutely love these topwater spooks. And uh, it's a very popular lure for the Chesapeake Bay and honestly a lot of different areas. But um, in the summer and fall, when you have a decent topwater bite, you throw this in an area where there's fish, uh, they, they're going to hit it. They are absolutely going to hit it. All right, guys. Well, after taking a few more casts, um, haven't gotten any blow-ups 
caught those two fish and a lot of times in a spot like this you're only going to have a couple fish hanging around so once you catch you know that one or, or a handful um it's best to probably move on now i did see a couple fish bust way in there by those docks so i might go in and take a couple casts close in but what i really want to do is get around this point uh, that's where the mouth of the river is and that current really rips around there so those fish like to sit along those docks and there's some rock walls in there i think i can get some fish but uh two top water fish right here it's still early enough that i can keep throwing top water so i want to see if i can catch some more fish like that All right, I'm gonna take a couple casts with this paddle tail. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, I was literally just about to say this might be a little big for the fish that are in here, but that was a nice fish. I might have to get a little closer to that. Oh, God, my paddle tail's not swimming right. See what we got. See what we can work with. Got some big stuff in here, but I don't want to go too big. All right, this is the same paddle tail that I have on. These ones are just new, so I like white. I think white will be good. These are just the uh, Z-Man diesel minnows. They work excellent for rockfish, uh, speckled trout, redfish, you name it, they're gonna catch fish. Caught a lot of fish on the diesel minnows, but I just need to put a new one on. Where's my jig head? This is a little, a little heavy, heavier jig head than I'd like to be throwing, but big fish is gonna eat a big bait. I absolutely love living near the Chesapeake Bay, getting able to come out fishing, you know, this beautiful scenery. This this is what it's all about, guys. This is this is one of the many reasons that we love fishing. It's a good cast right there. Should be fish hanging on the back side waiting to ambush. There's one. There's a fish. He ain't that big, but it's a fish. <laughs> Little schooly guy. He's not the 30 incher I'm after, but uh, <laughs> we will take him, guys. I'll probably just lift him in. Uh, he bit off more than he could chew. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's get out of the strike zone. Little chunk, smallest one of the day. I mean, look at what he's eating compared to his size. Back he goes. This right here is a perfect example of what to look for uh, when you're targeting the shallows. So we're at the mouth of the river here and we've got the current ripping around this point. Now we've got this dock structure uh, that the fish are gonna be on the backside of because the current is coming out this way. They're gonna be waiting to ambush prey. Uh, you know, any bait fish, crabs, minnows, um, grass shrimp, anything that's coming out this way, they're waiting to ambush it right on the backside of that current. And that structure, uh, they're gonna be hanging close to that. That way they can ambush. So this is exactly what you wanna look for. We've got a strong outgoing tide. Um, the fish should be biting pretty good. There's a fish. There we go, guys. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. God, it's been so long since I've had a hit. Might be a decent fish. Hit that big paddle tail. Okay, he's screaming drag now. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's freaking go. Oh, keep tension. Come here, baby. Oh, what are you? 
well, I'm assuming it's a rockfish, but how big is he? <laughs> Probably not that big. He just had a little extra life in him. Uh, not bad, not bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, and he goes right there. He was probably 20 to 21. That was cool. <laughs> uh, saw him right there, gave a quick peek, and then he was gone. That was the bite we were looking for. That was definitely the bite we were looking for. Just sitting right where he should be, right in by them rocks. See if we can't get one more. I'm fine with not landing that fish, guys. I saw him right there. He was about, I don't know, 20 to 22. Maybe even a little bigger, uh, but that was fun. That is going to do it for me this morning. Uh, just a quick morning session before work, but I got to get in, get to the office. Uh, overall, not bad. I uh, caught those three fish, lost the one big one at the boat, and uh, can't complain about that. So definitely going to try and get back out here uh, again soon. This is my first trip out here of the year fishing the West River. Definitely know there's some fish around, so that's a good sign. And uh, I know we can catch some perch. But today I was just mainly targeting rockfish. Uh, had those two blow-ups early, caught the other one uh, out at the mouth where that current was ripping, and then lost the other one. But uh, all in all, not too bad considering the majority of the fish are up above the Bay Bridge right now. Uh, we do have a fair share uh, in the shallows, but the larger schools are up uh, towards the Patapsico by the Bay Bridge and up north that way, that Tolchester area. That's where they've been in the summer the past couple years. Down our way, there are a few scattered schools out in the bay, but uh, what I prefer to do is just target the shallows. I know that there's going to be some fish in the shallows on structure, so the key things to look for are current, submerged structure, and uh, clear water and calm conditions are ideal, but uh, that current and structure um, are the two top things that I look for. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I uh, really enjoy getting out, putting out videos for you guys. So hope you guys have been getting out and doing some fishing yourselves. The uh, summer weather is here and it's time to have a good season. So until the next video, guys, we'll see you.